We are quite enjoying this. Quite enjoying it a lot. Hello, and welcome to the first episode of DI Try, where I try really hard to do a DIY with very limited skills and knowledge, and we see what happens. <laughs> Hey, if you're new to my channel, I try my ass off at a lot of things, cooking, drinks, uh, life. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and join the party. <laughs> it's, a really, it's a really fun party here. Welcome. I wanted to start this series because there's so many DIYs I wanna do, but I have no idea if they're gonna work out. So I just thought, let's just try it. Maybe have a glass of wine or two. Are you allowed to do that with a DIY? I don't know. Should you operate power tools with a glass of wine? <laughs> Yeah, DIY, you know what I'm saying? Did I mention it's a party? So for our first DIY, try, I thought we would do our patio area. It's summertime, we actually have an outdoor space in Los Angeles, which was like basically having a mermaid unicorn. It's been eight years since I've had an outdoor space in Los Angeles. So right now our patio looks like this. <laughs> which is no place for a chic wife to be lounging, and I am a very chic wife. If you've been following me for the past year, you know that. I want it to look like a summer oasis out there. Like, you know when you go to a, an event like Coachella or something and they have these little lounge areas? Like one of those. I want it to look like a party out there. I want there to be drinks and barbecues and all that stuff. I want it to look like what you thought your backyard would look like in your 30s when you were a little kid. It is a very small area. I'm going for something very Pinterest, but I would definitely settle for like early 2000s Ikea catalog. Just saying, just putting it out there. I bought some artificial grass, I bought some globe string lights. I've seen about three YouTube videos, so I'm pretty much an expert. But really all I'm doing right now is procrastinating, so let's just get out there and do this. Let's go DI try this. I'm looking for a tagline. If you have any ideas, just holler at my comment section. Let's go! This is my hired help. I'm not hired, I'm fucking, I'm fucking slave. <laughs> I'll find a way to pay you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. First thing I'm gonna do is sweep the premises. Um, I've swept before, so I feel like I'll be pretty successful at this. Also, it's hot as balls out here. It's probably like, I don't know, 85, 90 degrees. It's hot as balls where it is. So I'm wearing shorts, but please don't look at my butt. Still early in the morning, feeling kind of lonely. She's taking off already, didn't really got to know me. I bet I, but now it really doesn't matter. Remember last night when we had some fun together. Yeah, I'm a hunter, and I told my friends I want her. I posted up and started off a first encounter. That girl, that girl is a star. I think I'm doing something. Let's see it. Okay. I think I'm cutting right. To the edge. Sure sounds like it. Yeah. It's the backyard experience I always wanted in my 30s. <laughs> it is actually. First green lawn. Is that cutting? Yeah, but. You feel it going through? Probably gonna get scissors for that part. But everything else seems to be good. <laughs> or not at all. <laughs> Looks like I didn't cut any of it oh, at shit. all. Yeah. I just kinda, you know, rubbed it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, I thought I was killing it. It sounded like it. The audio was, right? was telling that picture, yeah. <laughs> was telling that lie. Yeah, not even not even a little bit. Not even a dent? Not In the back? <laughs> Hold up. Wow. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be a little harder than I expected. But uh we'll get there. It's hot as fuck. Hot as fuck out here. This is gonna be a bitch actually, huh? Now I wish I got carpet shears, the kind of. Yeah. We do have shears. We do. You want to get the shears? They're not carpet shears. They're not carpet shears. I don't want them to do like a whack ass job though. Here's some scissors. Let's try scissors first. Okay, I like it. Okay. Oh my god, my scissors are like, what the fuck? This is working much better. Thank you, Hankel's kitchen shears. My knees hurt, look at it. <laughs> even grass more. I figure whatever doesn't get cut properly will just be hidden by the couch anyway. True. <laughs> Does it hurt Kinda. your hand? Yeah. I can do it. I just wanna, I just wanna do it straight. <laughs> Oh my god, do you think I won't do it straight? I'll do it straight, I don't give a fuck, so cool. People um, on my videos, they're always like, why didn't Steve help? I'm like, cause I won't let him help. Yeah, they have no idea though. Cause all I want to do is help. I know, you're the sweetest. You help with all the, the like, pick em up things. Like, I, I yeah. don't have any strength at all. I'll just take a break. It's so freaking hot out here. progress so far? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's hot, it's hard to 
to like get in there to like get the right angle. Yeah. How's your hand? It's hanging in there. Damn. <laughs> Let me do it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Do a good job. You gonna do a good job? Yeah. Okay. Where's my hands left? No, 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 you're going on, it's not straight now. What are you talking about? It's straight. Look, you're going same. towards the Look, center now. It's the same. Okay. I can see it. Okay. This is a Nikki, 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 <sighs> Steve. <Whoa>. Steve. <laughs> and that's why. But he's such a good helper and I love him. You're lucky you're I so hate cute. Myself. I can't believe this. <laughs> it's okay. That part's gonna be covered by a couch anyway, so it doesn't oh. it doesn't matter. It's kinda like when you make the bed in the morning, so I just kinda adjust it a little bit. <laughs> kind of fill in this gap. And it's not quite wide enough to go this way, so we're just gonna have to cut little mini pieces to go over there. This is too skinny. It's too to skinny. To fit that way. Like me, I'm so I'm too skinny. That's true. People are always saying, you're too skinny, you should eat more. I mean, I haven't heard anyone say that, but I, but I'm sure that they say it. It's so easy now, oh my gosh. I'm overlapping it a little bit because I, I don't want there to be any gaps. Wow, this is way easier. Make sure to keep that line straight. I'll try. It's really important. I heard it's hard. I heard it's very difficult. It's not, it's super easy to keep the line straight. Oh, it is, oh, interesting. My husband's uh, got some issues. Yeah, well. He's a good man. He should be cool. He should be cool and take it easy on him. Alright. Nice. Nice. To the yeah. edge, bud. Yeah, when I was a kid, I always wanted AstroTurf because you don't have to mow it. I thought that was the tightest thing in the world. <laughs> it, I used to think it looked so tacky, but it used to look so tacky. <laughs> it used yeah. to be like way less now it real looks looking. Pretty dope, yeah. It used to be so shiny and like neon green. It's pretty good. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. And then you're gonna do a last trip here? Yep. Cool, man. For those of us who are bad at that, what do you recommend doing? I recommend looking at the point that you want to get to and like seeing the line in your head rather than looking at what you're doing in front of you. That's for people at home who don't know how to do that stuff. Obviously, yeah, I do. Yeah, for all the people at home that may not know about that. That might not know how to do that? Because I certainly do. Tight. Yeah. Let's see how it stacks up. Big, big test. Oh snap! It's tight out here. Yeah, we're doing it. Cut along, cut along the thread. Then you get, you have a straight line. Well, shit. Why don't we do that in the beginning? And you know you have a straight line. Because that's tight. Yeah. Wow. We figured it out at the bitter end. <laughs> the very last what few a inches. Bunch of a -hole. <laughs> the last bit just doesn't want to let go. It knows it's over. Oh snap! Okay, big reveal time. Doubters. Big reveal time. I am sorry, I doubt it. It's tight. The videos I saw online, you sweep it and it makes it look more like real grass. I think they use a different broom though. <laughs> did it work? Were you like noticing that it was working? Yeah, yeah, it did work. Because it, it was like, it made all the blades of grass go different ways, like it would grow in real life, yeah. as opposed to like all the blades going the same way. Don't sit here waiting for a sign. done with the lawn being put on the ground it looks fantastic I'm so excited it looks better than I could have imagined but we are not even close to being done right now this is still not a summer oasis out here okay this is not a wonder wall so I bought some globe lights and all the videos said you should measure before buying them I didn't because I'm pretty pro so I figured we would just like string them up until we run out and then and see, we'll just keep stringing until it runs out. I have an idea, I have a plan for what I want to do. I want to make them like string down from up there into the yard. You know how like carnivals do that? It's super cute. I'm hoping that that'll work out. If not, we'll just put it around the perimeter. But hopefully we can do both. Let's see if our champagne supernovas can come true. Safety first. Don't look at my butt. I don't really know if I make anything happen to be honest. It in a little bit and then, and then it's that's like as much as it can go. I guess we only really need a little bit. It's hard to screw in. 
think that's all we need. That's probably good. This thing hooks on like these. And then we got these adhesive hooks for this part because we can't drill into this part of the room which made out of like plastic. I'm sweating like under my eye, under oh, this thing. Yeah. I can't wait to see my makeup after this. It's not gonna look good. It's gonna look kind of stuck. Yeah, that's true. That looks trashy. I like that. Like I just, some dude. Hey. Just some random dude. Hey. Because we're gonna be sticking these, I'm gonna just clean that area first so it sticks on properly. This wasn't in any of the videos I watched, so we're trailblazing a little bit here. Everyone else had like a home with a tree or something that they could string it on. <laughs> from others that you chase out love was on the run that's not a problem cause I prove to you that I'm the one how we doing yes. yeah I'll say looks tight you like it yeah are they long bulbs? No, I had a choice between Edison bulbs or globe lights, and I, I kind of like the globe light look. Globe lights, which was those are like the ball lights? Mm -hmm. How cool. I like a globe. So there's actually a lot of lights left over, and I think we do have enough lights to do the original idea I had planned. So I'm gonna get on this ladder. I'm gonna try to drill a hole right there, and put an eye hook in it, and have ourselves a, a little summer oasis out here. Can we have a summer so, oasis? So wait, here? wait, how's it gonna go? Like over. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna see where it goes over the door right there. Yeah. Instead of that, it's gonna take, go from that pole up to there, and then back down to the pole on the other side of the door. Whoa. And then go around, and then from here back up. Damn, that's a lot. Yeah, but there's a lot left over. So I keep on trying. I just wanna be where you are. I like it. I think it'll look really good when it's all lit up at night. Yeah, it's gonna look dope. The only concern I have is we have this umbrella that we bought because it gets so sunny out here, as you saw earlier. Yes. And it's a nine foot umbrella, so it's definitely gonna hit those. Oh. Um, but maybe if we kept it over here and then like only opened it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna okay. work. Okay, we'll figure it out. What do you think, Franklin? That took about two hours and 45 minutes. I'm impressed. It feels like I've been working all day because it was so freaking hot out there. It's pretty much done. I just have a couple finishing touches that I want to put on it, but I think I'm going to do it tomorrow because one of the things has to be built and I will show you in a minute. I mean, a minute your time, like a whole day my time. Champagne supernova. <laughs> shocked. I am confused. I'm upset. This turned out exactly like I pictured and then some. We supernova the shit out of this backyard. We wonder walled and we will not look back in anger at the old backyard. How? How dare it? This sets the bar way too high for this DI Tri series. I was hoping that like there'd be some hiccups or something. The only hiccup was when Steve tried to help. Don't tell me I said that. But yeah, this looks so good. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh my God, I can't believe this happened. This looks so good. I could cry. This is beyond Ikea catalog. This is Pinterest level. Holy shit. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Here's this cute little bar. By the way, I'm gonna put links to everything that I found um, in the description. I spent hours researching online trying to find the look that I wanted for things 
things at a reasonable price. Everything I bought was on sale for either Memorial Day weekend or for 4th of July weekend. This bar cart was from Wayfair. This patio set was from Wayfair too. On sale, plus I had a coupon that was like an extra 15% off. These are from Target. $10 for a set of four cups. $10 for a set of four as well. These I had already. They're a little bit more pricey, but I have, I've had these for years. And I had the shaker already. Umbrella, Target. If I could do something again, I would have gotten a seven foot umbrella instead of a nine foot umbrella, because I don't know really how it's gonna function in this yard, but we'll see. The plants I got from Wholesale Nursery, but that was in my plant video. You can like go watch that later. This was on sale at Target. It comes with an LED candle inside, but I couldn't test it inside the store because they didn't have batteries in it. And when I got home and turned it on, it's like a really, really ugly orange color. It looks like straight up like Halloween. Not my style. I thought it would be more like West Elm. It looked more like Nightmare on Elm Street. I had these fairy lights left over from our wedding and they're battery operated and I just put them in there. Not my favorite thing, but this table came with the patio set. I think eventually I'll switch it out for a fire pit. I would love for this to be like a table slash fire pit. You know, one of those fire pits where it has like an edge around here so you can put your drink down. Franklin really digs it here too, by the way. He loves being outside. Huh, you like your garden oasis? You're welcome. These lights were also from Wayfair. I bought them along with the patio set. These pillows, I had been looking for outdoor pillows that were like cute in summertime and had like my sort of vibe. And I love this print. I've been in love with this print for like a year. I just pop pajamas with this print. So when I come out here to drink my morning coffee, we could be matchy matchies. These are like 16 bucks each on Amazon. They came in a set of four. So it was like four for 70 bucks or something like that. That is the cheapest I could find any sort of throw pillow. Why are throw pillows so expensive? I don't know, but also I don't know how to make them. So I'm just gonna pay for it. Hot tip, hot tip. I was reading on the reviews that these cushions slip around a lot and they really do. But that was an easily fixed problem. Got this from Home Depot. There, you can't even tell it's here. Um, this stuff, it's a, it's like a drawer liner and I just put it down and I put the cushion on top and it doesn't slip. Look, it doesn't slip at all. Oh, well, oh my God, are we in Coachella? Are we in a VIP lounge in Hollywood? Oh my God. First DIY try, boom, in the bag, nailed it. HGTV is quaking right now. Mr. K is shook. I'm just kidding, Mr. K, I love you so much and if you wanna redo any of my rooms, you are more than welcome to. But anyway, she's shaking. If you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments and I will continue to make more. I'm gonna be DIYing all over the place anyway. Might as well make videos about it. Catch me outside. How about that? That's literally the only place we wanna be right now. summer oasis. I love it. Did you think that it would turn out like this when I first told no. you I was gonna redo this backyard? No. I, I don't know. I don't have the kind of imagination you do when it comes to like an empty space. Like when I saw this place empty I was like not not good. In my head I saw two metal chairs sitting out here <laughs> and like a little metal table <laughs> that's been sitting here too long. It's got rust on the bottom. Oh my god. Yeah. And then when we move it all one day when we move out of here eventually yeah. like you just see the indentations the of the rust. Yeah. yeah. That's what I had pictured. Uh huh. Because that's sort of how my family did it. I see. This also took less time than I thought it was going to take too. <coughs> it took like two and a half hours. That's true. That's it. Yeah. And, and like a lot of that was just trying to figure th things out. True. Like how to hang the lights or whatever. You had a plan. I had you a solid had a picture plan. in my head of what I wanted. My job is just to move the, the heavy thing. That's true. That's, That's a, what you I do. You're very good at it. Thank you're the you. best heavy and thing mover. And I grill now. You didn't you're know the best grill. griller and you're the best heavy thing That's mover right. I've ever met. Give him lots of compliments in the comment section. Please. He I needs need that. it. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this and I will see you next time. Bye. You okay? You gonna be okay? Yeah. I built this for you. For me? Oh really? Nah. You did it for you. <laughs> What?